Oh, everybody, what's going on? Joe's Neon here. Let me get you a little bit higher up there. Beautiful afternoon. Enjoying a PBR here. I wanted to show you folks on what we collected this weekend on our trip. Pretty amazing, to say the least. Let me start off by saying I brought a little bit of chaga with us, just a small amount for a batch of tea or two, because my buddy had never had chaga tea. So then, <clears throat> I also brought honey, so we had honey to go with our chaga tea. Well, boy, didn't we get excited when we got about halfway through our trip, about two miles in, and we hit some chaga. Let me show you. Now, for those of you who don't know <coughs> what chaga is, Chaga grows on birch trees. It's a fungus. The um, health and medicinal values of this fungus, when it's boiled into a tea, simmered into a tea, is amazing. Um, check it out. There's a million videos out there on YouTube about chaga. Um, it's a great fire starter. You can, you can hit a flint and steel. Once it's dried out well, you can strike a flint and steel near it. One spark will ignite it. I love it as an incense. Once I'm done making about three or four batches of chi, uh, tea from the chaga, I like to use it as, a, uh, as an incense. I'll dry it out completely and I'll just light it and let it burn on a dish. It smells so, so beautiful. But check this out, okay? Look at these pieces we got. Man. Look at these monster hunks of chaga. Man. Look at this chaga. Unbelievable score. So many, so many, so many, so many, so many pieces. But this is from the one tree that we got chaga off of. I mean, I can, I can lay pieces out here endlessly for you of this size. And look at, look at the beautiful color of that chaga. Just as light as a piece of cork. And I lit a piece on fire, even damp. I didn't light it on fire, I put a spark to it, and I'll tell you, that ember just burnt and burnt and burnt and burnt. So, <clears throat> as the story goes, we're on our way out. We're about two and a half miles in, and we're at the bottom of the ascent to go up the mountain and through the mountain pass. Something catches the corner of my eye. I says, Bob, stop. And I'm looking at this big silver birch. This birch has got to be this big around silver birch. And here's this damn black cone coming off the side of that birch tree. I said, you got it. What in the hell? That can't be Chaga. I says, Bob, I got to drop my sled. I dropped my sled. I walked off the trail. I looked at that tree. I turned around and I said, drop your sled. I grabbed my ax. And I want to show you folks, when you want to talk about chaga, here's some chaga for you. I cut this off the tree. Absolutely perfect. It's just amazing. Are you ready? Here's chaga. Oh, 
How's that? Chug. This piece of chaga here has got to go about. It's got to go 15, 16 pounds, anyhow. Is that amazing? So, needless to say, our chaga haul was just absolutely epic. Um, we did tea constantly throughout the trip. It was really nice, it was wonderful. It warmed us, warm, warmed us up before bed. We did have to warm the honey though in, in hot water so that it would flow because we, we couldn't get it to flow at 20 degrees. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you folks that. I mean, that is just, that's ridiculous. That is a monster, monster, monster hunk of chaga. So, Keep your eyes out, video coming on the trip. I'm just gonna get a little help with some editing and we're gonna have a good one. Hope everybody's good, talk to you soon.